We're not living in the same world we lived in 50 years ago, or even five years ago. The tools we use to work, play, and stay in touch are changing so quickly. And if you don't change with them, well, you're being left in the dust. Some people embrace change. They look forward to the next new gadget. They get bored with the old way of doing things. Learning the next new thing comes naturally to them. They revel in cutting-edge technology. At the same time, many people value the familiar. They are comfortable there. They dread starting over, learning a new process, and they may even fear the unknown. All the new lingo seems like a foreign language to them. The question is, can these two groups of people come together and unite for a higher purpose? To cooperate, using new tools while embracing an old, time-tested method, which is what Southern Baptists do through the cooperative program. CP is the way Southern Baptists have funded missions at home and around the world for nearly 100 years, sharing a message that's as urgent today as it was 2,000 years ago. No matter how much our culture changes, there still are children hurting and in need of a Christian family. No matter how much technology changes, there still are victims of disasters who need healing. No matter how much transportation changes, there still are millions of unreached people groups around the world. And no matter how much communication changes, there still are nearly two billion people who have never heard the name of Jesus. One thing that never becomes obsolete is the value of people and churches working together to accomplish more than they could ever do on their own. Through the cooperative program, we can bring light to a very dark world and eternal life to a lost and dying planet. We can keep nearly 10,000 full-time missionaries on the field, provide a Christian education for the next generation of Southern Baptist leaders, plant thousands of new churches, feed the hungry, provide a biblical worldview to our elected and appointed officials, and so much more. So, let's face it, there are some things that don't change. They just keep on working. That's why we say that through the cooperative program, we do more together. Okay. Uh, some of you guys, deacons, whoever, doesn't matter. Uh, there's the box with the materials in it that we're distributing this morning. And uh, what you're going to find in there, it would be helpful to have both pieces. One of them is uh, the proposed constitution and bylaws. And as you're looking through it, understand it's not finished because the congregation finishes it. Uh, we don't do this. This is not a, a pastor's deacons kind of a church running everything. This is a congregational church. And so we work together on these things. We pray through them. And then when we believe we have discovered what it is the head of the church, Jesus Christ, desires, then we are on course. And so ultimately you're going to have this until November the 4th, which will be Sunday night. That night we will uh, discuss this and amend it if we need to, uh, however the Lord leads the church family to do it. Now, you have a second thing, and this looks like a letter from the preacher, which would be e easily ignored, but please don't ignore it, because it says on there, uh, thank you to Melba Hudson, Melba McGuire, and then Donnie Thompson, Ben Hodges, and the staff members that helped along the way with this. But on the next page, there's short commentary on some of the changes that are in the document. And so you may have been hearing about, well, I heard this, well, I heard that. Well, you'll get to read it, and then you'll find that some of the changes are on front and back of the second page that will answer some of your questions in advance. Feel free to call me. And I just read the names of some of the people who are on the committee. Feel free to talk to them. Uh, and then we're going to walk through this together as a church family. With the desire of having a document that will protect the church uh, from attack of uh, religious liberty issues uh, will also help the church family understand who we are and what we do. And if for some reason you don't get one, our copy of broke down on Friday. So if you don't get one and you don't want, don't want to share with your spouse, you might call the office and we can get you another, okay? 
Let's do this as we're doing that. Let's go ahead and stand. We're going to have a blessing for our food. And then as soon as I say amen, we're going to sing our parting song. But, but I need you to do this. As we're singing our song, if you consider yourself a senior adult, I'm going to let you make that decision. You go ahead and head back there. Okay? Um, I know at a certain age you start getting these things in the mail. I don't consider, I've got those things in the mail. I'm not a senior adult yet. Okay? So, but if you consider, you can go ahead and ask me say amen for the blessing. And as we sing, I'll go ahead and go first. Get through the line. That's the advantage of being around here longer than everybody else. Okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much uh, for who you are. Thank you for the opportunity to serve. Uh, Father, I thank you for the food that you have provided. I pray that you would bless those who uh, made it. I pray that the folks that set it up, you would bless them. And Father, just bless our time together. We ask all these things in your holy name. Amen.